Gentlemen, I present to you our test subject for today, the little sibling doll, designed to teach an only child to share. Sharing? Siblings? Gross. I'm not gross, you're gross. <gasps> so it talks. It responds to keywords. Observe, shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, tit. <gasps> you said a swear, I'm telling mom! Oh, that's just what a sister would say. Sisters are the worst. I wouldn't know. Me neither. You neither either, Addison. Oh no, I have sisters. No. Uh, yeah, two of them. Surely you would have mentioned them before now. Well, I'm mentioning them now, I guess because they come back from their mission today. Mission? As in missionary? How long have they been gone? The standard 20 years my church always does. That is dedication. Saving souls isn't for sissies, Crad. Mm. It's actually an official rule. Hello, all. Addison, you remember your sisters? <sighs> yeah, I guess. Well, then, give them a hug. Oh, come on. I... Addison has sisters. <laughs> this is blowing my mind. This is Eve and Ruth. Hmm. Very biblical. Greetings to you both. I am October. And I'm Crack. Okay, three second rule. This isn't a finger orgy. None of that finger banging I've heard about. You guys are welcome to hang around here for a while if you like. What? No! We'd love to. Thank you. <laughs> Will you be all right? It's just nice to be somewhere new. With plumbing. And clean drinking water. And chairs. Look, Ruth. Chairs. Decadent. My girls. So 20 years, huh? The culture shock they're experiencing must be significant. <laughs> right? I should probably feel bad, since I'm the one that had them sent away. Really? Well, I am the oldest. Mom! They broke my stretchy wall blong! Well, that's what having sisters is all about. Well, then I don't want to have sisters anymore! Well, you are the oldest. I'll see what I can do. Couple meetings with the pastor, bing, bang, boom. I have them sent on a 20-year mission to some little village in Africa. Hey, God. No, Uganda. But what about school and all that? Probably educated by the village church or something. <laughs> Honestly, I'd even forgotten that I have sisters! And we forgive you, Addison. As God commands. Oh, that's nice. You guys have fun. Oh. Welcome. <laughs> so, this is where you work. Yeah, we test toys and games that are coming to market. Oh, and who is this? Oh, well, well, that's my daughter, Susie. Oh, and... Where's the picture of your wife? <laughs> oh, well, you know, she, um, she left me, so. Oh, did you beat her? <laughs> no. God, no, no. So you were lustful then? Well, like, did I cheat on her? You mean, no. She did on me, though, with uh, Edgar. Vile temptress. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. But, you know, they're together now and very happy, and that makes it, um, worse somehow. You poor Dear man, one, two, three. Three second roll. <laughs> Surely this isn't a toy for children. Oh. That is Cthulhu, chief among the great old ones, worshipped by untold multitudes. Worshipped? There is only one god. There have been many gods in the history of the earth. No, what? Yes. Lame! Sisters are lame! Those are my friends, and we were playing! <laughs> you were saying? Tiamat was mother to Lahmu the Beneficent and has over 300 hit points. <laughs> ah! So? What 
What's your problem? My sisters are here, and they're flirting with my friends. I didn't know you had sisters. They've been away on missionary work. I usually try to avoid missionary positions. And now they're all like, ooh, crap, let's flirt. Eh, gross. And are they, you know, like you, somewhat special? Yes? You know, like a little bit Forrest Gump? You know, a little bit touched you know, in, the, in the brain pan? Somewhat charmingly anti-intellectual? Well, they seem just as smart as me. Mm, just as smart as you, eh? Well, oh, that'd explain flirting with Crad. <laughs> yeah, it's gross. Well, this I have to see. Don't. You get sick. Mm. Ah. Ugh. Something is confusing to me. What's that? You seem like a good man, and yet you say you're not a Christian. How is this possible? Wow. Well, never been very religious, you know, but I still have my principles. Really? Yeah. You're, you're back home now, you know? You're going to find out everything's so black and white. I've heard that there are 50 shades of gray. Ah, you know that book? No, but I was surprised to hear there are so many different shades of such a simple color. <laughs> <laughs> well... That might not be the best book for you to start out with. And you're not the best man for me to start out with, not knowing him. What if he were a she? No, that's stupid. Women are just ribs. Since the Garden of Eden, it's just been six to 11,000 years of just being a rib. Well, you know, some smart people think the world might be a lot older than that, like maybe hundreds of millions of years. <laughs> Come now. Mm. If the world were that old, wouldn't there be some evidence? Well, uh... I think I have some right here. Come on. See? Oh, I'm sorry. Don't don't look at that. That's uh that's for private time. Uh, this. Science. First they said margarine was better than butter. And now butter is better? <sighs> Fuck you, science. Which is it? I've been immunized against polio. But who says polio is so bad, hmm? I mean, maybe I'd like to try it. Well, I had me one of those newfangled heart surgeries, you know, and, and now I have to wait to go to heaven. <laughs> Thanks a lot, science. 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 And then, in 1969, the U.S. Court of Appeals recognized Scientology as a religion, and the FDA was forced to return their e-meters. Xenu had no comment. I see. Oh, my. I realize this is a lot to take in. And all these gods, they're all real? Or none of them. Right. And you worship the god Cthulhu. Cthulhu's more of an interdimensional alien, but he does teach us that all human beings are insignificant motes before his dread majesty. Really? It helps one live for the moment. The world is so much larger than I ever knew. I'd be happy to show you its dark underbelly. I think I'd like that. Hello. So you must be Addison's sisters. Yes, I'm Eve and this is Ruth. And are you two like Addison? No, a little bit in the head. Addison has always been simple. I blame Mother. She infantilizes him. Oh, so you're not stupid. Excuse me? Pardon? So, how are things around here? Any work of any kind going on? We've been distracting your employees, I fear. We can't help it. <laughs> They're so handsome. <laughs> in a cadaverous way, I suppose. I meant crad. What? <laughs> Really? So you were flirting, and you are of normal intelligence. You say such odd things. <laughs> <laughs> Crad, I need those test results by the end of the day. And don't get distracted by another woman. By this woman, here. Well, she's the only woman here. <laughs> but she's not. I'm here. I'm here too. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you click on there, right. and uh, it's a whole uh, encyclopedia. Crad? October? Guess they left me alone. Feeling lonely? Play with me. Shut up, little sibling. Don't say that. I look up to you. What if the guys like my sisters more than they like me? I love you, big brother. Or sister. Please program. Shut the fuck up. Take me for a walk. God. Fine. Ow! You're hurting me! I'm telling Mom! 
Thank you so much for taking me to the museum, Eve. Oh, oh. it was wonderful to spend some time with you. <sighs> You're awesome. And you fill me with awe as well, Susie. So young, so fearless. <laughs> Thanks, I gotta go back to school. Bye, sweetie. Bye. So, I have a little surprise for you. You do? Mm-hmm. I made us a picnic. <gasps> that is so wonderful. And I have a surprise for you as well. I wrote you a song. <laughs> wow. Hey, dear Brad, I know you can feel sad. But you should know that you had just the biggest effect on me. Oh, hey, Garrett. Oh, yeah, sure. Good to see you. Uh, over there is a pile of headless bodies of our sacrifice victims. Uh, this here is a tear in the fabric of reality itself. Oh, and uh, just over here. Thought I was just a rib. I was leaping every fear. But then you did what you did. You gave me digital literacy. And now I know that women can think and vote and work and drink. And science is the new religion for me. The ceremony was beautiful and terrifying. Much like existence itself. And so unlike the church I'm used to. Not so different. Tonight we're having a dance social. Well, that sounds familiar. Except for the dancing. Would you like to come? We're gonna do mushrooms. Oh, I love healthy snacks. And it means I can be the kind of me I want to be. And it means I can be the kind of me that I want to be. Good God, are you serenading him? Hello, Alexandra. How are you today? I'm on my lunch break, so... Excuse me, I need the little girl's room. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, third door to the left. So, crad. Got a little thing going on here? Uh, yeah, maybe a little bit. <laughs> That's how you like him, is it? Huh? Goody two-shoes, missionary types? Hmm? Get to be teacher? Is that it? Hmm? The innocence? Making a clean thing dirty? Hmm? Is that it? Is that what you like? Yeah, she's just been really nice to me. I have a boyfriend. And he's a king with superpowers. Um. Uh... It won't stand, guys! Come on! What about the code? What code is this now? The guy code. The bro code. Everyone knows you don't date a bro's sisters. Han Solo. Huh? Han dates Luke's sister and Luke's totally cool with it. Oh, come on. I'm not Luke Skywalker. Not with that attitude. Yeah. And I've never kissed my sisters, except for some practice times. I'm sorry, Addison. I'm gonna keep seeing Eve. <laughs> What about you, October? You're not the boss of me. <sighs> Someday I'll get that promotion. Look, Addison, you got nothing to worry about, okay? Plus, there's nothing you can do anyway. Oh, there are things I can do. Like what? Things! Things! Oh, it's you. Alexandra, mm. I just want to say that I admire you. Do you know? A woman running this whole company? Crad said you're a smart and tough mm. boss. I think it's great. Oh, well, women can do anything a man can do, usually backwards and wearing high heels. So I'm learning. Crad has taught me so much. So, you and Crad, eh? Well, mother always said, find yourself a fixer-upper and then fix him up. Then at least you know exactly who fixed him up. Well, that's horseshit, and your mother's a fucking idiot. No offense. None taken? Don't fix your man, fix yourself, and then see if your man is still good enough for you. Right. And don't get your feminism from a man either. Get it from a woman. Read Wolf and Ensler and Greer and Wolf. You said Wolf twice. Yeah, the second one has two O's. I see. Thank you. Certainly. So, you and Crad, eh? <laughs> 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 That's right, Pastor. Sinning with my friends. Sister sinners. Yeah, kissing. There was kissing on the mouth. I saw it all. Uh-huh. Okay, I will. Thank you. 
a men to you too. <laughs> what are you doing? Can I do it too? I just called the missionaries and told on my sisters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up! Whee! Ow! Oh, what a night! I feel so free! Mushrooms can do that for a person. I want to go further. Do more. Psilocybin is an analog high. I suppose we could try something a little more digital. Okay. What? Acid is the MP3 file to Mushroom's vinyl. Stupid sisters. A sister is a friend your parents give you. My sisters stole my friends. It wouldn't be stealing if you just shared. Well, I don't want to share. You never want to share. Don't you love me? Shut the fuck up, little si Wait, you're right. I didn't want to share my parents with my sisters, and so I sent them away. You sound sad. I've been a pretty shitty big brother. Being a big brother is an important job. It was. It is. Will you play with me? You know what, little sibling? Yes, I will. He had too much nose candy. It was fun. And you're a good big brother. Aw, it's time to share my sisters with my friends. <laughs> Come on. Hey, guys. I think I'm starting to come up on that LSD. How about you, Ruth? Ruth? Ruth, how's the acid treating you? Wait. And then I read all the vagina monologues. Did you know that the vaginas don't actually talk? Yeah. Oh, it has been a wonderful time of learning for me. And so I wanted to talk about our relationship, Crad. Okay, and um, what's up? Uh, time out. Time out? Yeah, I need, I need to talk to you for a sec, excuse us. Okay. <laughs> Go and relate to your daughter. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> so what's up? I think you need to make a move here. Move? She's reaching a crux in the relationship. You think? Yeah, I think if you like her, you gotta lock this down. I'm not crazy about her. You know, what kind of move? Maybe, maybe ask her to move in with you? You think? That she's the coolest. I agree. It's just, you know, she's pretty religious. Do you think she wants to live in sin? You think she'd marry you? You think I should propose? Take it slow. Float one, then the other. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Time in. Yeah. Ruth. Ruth. I saw him. I saw the great old one. Which one? Rogog? Voltum? Zathog? Yeg, the father of serpents? No, Cthulhu. He said I was chosen. Yours is a special destiny. <laughs> I am tripping balls. <laughs> Sorry about that. Is everything okay? Yeah, I was just talking to my dad about my menstrual cycle. He's cool like that. That is so wonderful. Yeah, and Eve, I know you wanted to talk about our relationship and I want that too. Yes, so much has happened in such a short time. I think we should move in together. Crad, do you really think that's appropriate? <laughs> Right, yeah, uh, you're right, I'm sorry. We should get married. Oh, bended knee. What? Bend your damn knee. Right. Um, Eve, I know we haven't known each other that long, but I have a lot of love to give, so I'm asking, will you marry me? Oh, Crad, you are so sweet. So no, it's a, it's a no. I realize that I don't want any man. Any man? Yes. I am a lesbian. You're a lesbian? Since when? Uh, since always, Crad. That's how it works. Right, sorry. Hey guys, Crad, I just wanted to say 
that I am okay with you dating my sister. We broke up. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh. oh. phew. It's a close one. What are you girls gonna do now? I'm moving to Moscow and I'm joining a punk band. Oh. And I'm moving to the city of Raillier, where I can pursue my destiny with the old ones. But the city of Raillier is currently at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. Yes, currently. Hmm. Ambitious. I just want to say that I'm sorry I was such a crappy big brother. I didn't want to share. I realize that now. It's all right, Addison. Everything happens for a reason. Still, I should have been able to share my sisters with my friends. It's fine. Ruth and I were never actually dating. Oh, thank God! <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're doing a sitcom ending. Oh. <laughs> Addison Secret Sisters. Crad. Oh, hey, Alex. What can I do for you? Well, I've been having some confusing feelings. N not feelings. Somethings. Confusing somethings. Yeah, I think it started when I was seeing you with Eve everywhere. Oh, well, we broke up. You did? Yeah. We won't be seeing her around here anymore. Oh. Well. That actually seems to help a lot. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so... Back to work. Idiot. Okay. I'm off to see my boyfriend. He's the king of Latvania. Ah, uh, a lot of hit points. I don't know what those are. Armor know. class? Uh, no. Alignment? No. You have much to learn. Mm. That's a big word. Ah! Scissors are gross! <laughs> <laughs> Size doesn't matter. Nah, well. Beg your pardon? What? 